Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, um, we're going to talk about updating the firmware on the camera on your Vision Plus. It's become apparent to me um, from some questions over the past couple of weeks that some people are uh, under the impression that the assistant will handle that, and it doesn't. So if you've been having some issues uh, with your camera not connecting um, blank, blank screen uh, when you should be getting a, a, a picture but you're still able to control the, uh, the, the the tilt and things like that, it may be that you need to update the firmware as one was released a few weeks ago. But before we do that, as is traditional on this channel, it's the kitchen table, we must um, must indulge in a little beverage to help us oil the wheels of thought when we talk about our uh, our phantoms. Uh, today, a, a, a rather nice um, Coteau du Languedoc called La Riviste. And very nice it is too. So, um, cheers. Oh. Yes, so, firmware on the camera. As I said, it's become apparent from some questions I've been having that people aren't, or at least some people aren't aware that the camera has a separate firmware and it isn't updated via the assistant software. It, you actually have to update it via SD card. And you download a, uh, a file with the firmware on it from the DJI website. Uh, and you load it up and pop it in. Uh, and that should update uh, fairly straightforward, but there are some steps you need to take in a particular order. So I thought we'd go over that. Uh, for those of you, who, you, know, you can just check whether you're running the latest uh, version. If you look in the app, you'll see marked under uh, the about section you'll see with the different firmwares uh, come up and one of them will show you the camera and uh, if it's not the currently late, the current version that's uh, DJI displaying then you might need to update so let's have a look and go through what we have to do so what you need to do is go to the DJI website the Phantom 2 Plus page and you'll see here in the download uh, section the firmware for the camera and a, zip, a link to a zip file um, and you can check what the version is and compare it and here we've got the zip file there's two bits in there you'll see the firmware itself and the uh, and a help file what I'm going to do is copy the firmware part only to a blank micro SD card there it is I've copied it over nothing else on the card I've deleted anything else that was on there just a blank card and I put this in the root directory and then the important thing is you need to rename it to simply firmware underscore plus dot bin just like here just need to get rid of the um, the extra bits that are not required and then when you've done that and saved it and ejected it safely you simply bring it over to your uh, vision plus which is switched off you insert that SD card with only that firmware file on there and uh, you you know wrestle it into your to the card slot as I'm doing here, and then once it's in there, you power up the aircraft. Here come the flashing lights, and you'll see. Watch the camera indicator light; it will start to blink rapidly. That means it is reading the firmware, and what you are looking for it to do is to stop the blinking and go solid green which means everything's fine. And there it is, that is it, it has done it. If you get a red light, it means it hasn't taken, remove the card, try again. Um, but other than that, firmware's in. So there you are. Um, it's relatively straightforward as long as you follow those steps, um, just using one of these. Um, I would always recommend you use the micro SD card that came with the Phantom or at least make sure that whichever one you're using to the firmware updates has been formatted via the app in the camera itself as people have reported problems in the past using uh, uh, you know a fresh one straight out of the packet but um, but th that's it um, as I say it's not it's not massively clear I know all the firmware is there and everything else but it, but it appears not to be clear for, for some people um, that you need to do this as a separate um, procedure and it won't automatically update. And, and in troubleshooting a couple of people, I found that they're running um, old camera firmware with newer main firmware and, and, and they're having problems with the camera not, not, uh, not giving them a preview uh, properly. And one of the fixes in the latest camera firmware was to help things like issues at startup. So worth a try, have a check if you haven't got, um, if you, if you haven't got a, the, um, 
um, the right firmware. Um, you can check that via the app. Here it is, you can see here. Uh, if you go to the about section, it will show you the latest firmware and that we've now, you know, that's what we're running. Simple way to check. I hope that was useful to some people. Thank you as ever for your time and um, we'll see you again soon on the kitchen table. And until then, cheers.